Hey guys, it's your girl Confident Plans back for another video. Um, thank you for being here. I thought we would go and look at my expenses <clears throat> for the month of September, for the first week I should say in September. And so I would like to like to show you how I spent my money. I also do a setup of my sinking funds to show you what money um, I've spent so far from sinking funds. So let's go ahead and get started. So this, I normally use um, Happy Planner, a classic size Happy Planner for my planning and budgeting. Um, and then I have this Erin Condren uh, monthly deluxe planner. It just has the monthly layout and then a bunch of blank pages um, from Erin Condren. And so um, I really do like it. I love the way the pages feel. I'm not a fan of the coil so much, but um, I think it's great for me to check in with budget and film it, and that will be wonderful. So, for the first week of September, which also includes August 30th and 31st, which I'll just be writing on this one, um, <clears throat> we'll have that here, and then we'll go ahead on and have a key um, so that we have that. All right, so we'll be doing, um, I have some stickers here. This is a sticker pack from Walmart that my girlfriend sent me recently. I have a, an unboxing video up on my page if you'd like to see it, of course. Go ahead and check it out. So I'm going to use um, the green for money, but I'm going to use the square ones for credit card expenses, and then the circle will be for just if I use my regular debit card. So... I'm going to go ahead and put that up here as a key so I don't forget. So this will be my debit card. And then I have a square I have to get off. That will be for credit card. And let me zoom you in so you can see. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we'll start going through my expenses for the 30th and I'll just do this right here I think that'll be better for you all to be able to see yes that works so for the 30th and 31st of August I didn't spend anything and so that'll be a no spend and I'll wait till the end but I have some no spend stickers here that I would um, I'm going to get out and just have and that way, when it's time to put them here, um, from Mama Sila Budgets, who also has a YouTube um, page and an Etsy shop. So I have some of her no spin stickers. And so I'll be using those today to mark off my no spin. Um, <clears throat> and I'll just go ahead and put them down since we're already starting. And I have a no spend here. All right. So we have that up. <laughs> so then for the 1st of September, which is when I get paid for my um, regular full-time job, I have, I'm going to go ahead and grab some tweezers. So that I'm not having to work too, too hard to lay these down every time and keep the video running for a long time. Oh, I just need to look at my key one more time. So my debit card is the circle. So I have several debit card purchases. So if you've seen any of my budget videos, you know that I, for my first paycheck of the month, um, I budget 
toiletries, money for toiletries. And so on the 1st of September, I purchased toiletries and I purchased them via Amazon. And the total, my I budget $50 and it was $50.61 was the charge. And I got like laundry detergent, um, fabric softener, I got body wash, I got deodorant, I got some lip balm, EOS is my favorite. What else did I get? Oh, and hand soap. Um, Mrs. Meyers hand soap. Which I usually get from Growth Collaborative, but they have this like if you don't spend an, if you don't have enough money um in in your basket, a certain amount of products to meet the minimum requirement, it doesn't ship anymore. And so I don't I didn't need that many, I just needed some hand soap. So I had to order the items from Amazon. They also sell Mrs. Meyers items at Target too. So then the next thing I can just put them all here because they're these are all these are um going to all be credit card. Let's see if I turn my camera. Yeah, that'll help since I'm I write to the side. Sorry about that. All right, so then we have, I also spent groceries. And that was $1.75 for my groceries. I also had some giving here. $20. And... <clears throat> so all of these things are were um purchases that I used were things that I used um my debit card for as opposed to my credit card. Okay. And then I'll just do one more that way I kind of wrote close together. I wanted to get it all on here. So I have big handwriting, so it's easier for me to just write it on the actual page rather than trying to get this stickers. Okay. All right, so that works. So these are all of my debit card purchases for the first. Then on the second here, <clears throat> I also have some purchases. I have friends that have several birthdays in the month of September, so quite a few gifts that I'll be purchasing that you'll see um, here, some charges, and I'll talk about them as I go through. All right, so the first thing is a gift for my friend. Her son, it's a Black Panther um, a Black Panther Halloween candy bucket. And that was $11.77. The next thing was a bridal shower gift that I purchased via Target. And that was $22.70. Then I have another. I had a coworker. It was her birthday. And I had another. Amazon purchase and that was $21.80. So I purchased a gift for my coworker. I think she watches the videos. Hey, so I'm not gonna say what I purchased her. Um, because she hasn't received it yet, most likely. I'm not have to check the shipping. Alright. Then we'll flip to this side. 
for the Thursday. I didn't have anything, so that was a no spend for the third. So I put a no spend here. Friday the 4th, I didn't have anything, so it's a no spend. Sticker does not want to work with me. All right. So we have a no spend here. And then on Saturday the 5th, was another debit card purchase, which will be gas. Oh. We'll put that here. Yeah. Now, I only need gas about once every few weeks because, of course, the time we're in with COVID. Um, I'm not driving much, I'm working from home, and so I don't need to commute anywhere. So this gas will probably last me like a couple of months maybe. So, have that. Okay, I'm just gonna straighten you back out here. And then I'll zoom out a little bit. Here we go. So, this is my first week for the first week of September. Everything that I've spent so far <clears throat> for this month is here, which is wonderful. I'm doing really well. I, I do have sinking funds that I'll talk about in a second um, <clears throat> for some of these items that come out of there. And so I'll talk about those in a second. So we'll go ahead over here and <clears throat> we'll start setting up for move these tweezers. We'll begin setting up the tracking for my sinking funds. So I'll start by putting that here. And I have a ruler that I will get out. Then we'll have the category. I'll put the date. Amount. And then the final the balance after I take something out of there. So I'm just gonna draw lines right quick. You may not be able to see all the way and here we go here we are and you'll be able to see me draw lines that's not super straight that's okay Trying to get it as straight as I can, but it might not be, it might not be perfect. Don't judge me. Okay. And oh. All right. <laughs> So, so far out of the debit card money that I've used, I have used for gifts. I have already used, oh, let me see what day that was that I purchased that. <laughs> Those gifts came out on the second. So we'll put 9-2-2020 and about $40. We'll be deducting $40. So out of that, um, I don't have any money left so far. 
for gifts. And that's okay, it's what it's there for. I put in about $20 a month and I would like to put in a little bit more um, money per month. So right now, that'll leave me with nothing left in gifts and that's empty. And then I'll just show you, um, I'll zoom you out. I'll show you my envelope here for gifts and you'll see that it's empty. There's nothing in there. So all that money's gone to buy gifts for friends. So that's it. So, so far that's my update um, for my sinking funds that I've used so far um, for the month. And um, we'll see if I use any more and I'll keep you guys, give you a weekly update on what's going on and how much money I've spent. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this weekly check-in with my budget. Um, I did for the, for my sinking fund for gifts, I did use my debit card and then I went and put the money in the bank. So that's why you'll see it was a debit card charge. I did go to the bank and put the $40 into my, via the ATM. So that's how that gets taken care of. So I spin it first and then put the money in to cover it later. That's how it goes. If you have any questions, feel free to put down in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Um, as always, I love spending this time with you all. Thank you for um, even coming to my channel and watching my videos. I greatly appreciate it. And remember, the best way to accomplish your goals is to make a plan. Bye.